Hey, what's going on guys? It's David here. I thought today I would do something a little bit different since I haven't put out a video. And today I'm going to be doing a first person view of Murph. Uh, this should be fun. I don't think I've done Murph in maybe a year or so. Uh, typically on Memorial Day and Labor Day, um, I end up just kind of going out of town. So haven't had a chance to do it in quite some time. Also, I drank a little bit too much last night. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully it should be a fun, good time. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and hop in today's video. Also, if you liked today's video, if you enjoyed watching me suffer, make sure to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button because it lets me know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys want to see. So without wasting any more further time, let's go ahead and hop in today's video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's David here and today I want to do just a sort of like first person view commentary on my experience with Murph this year. Uh, this year um, I did it a little bit different. I decided to do, uh, I decided to do it um, as RX or as prescribed and uh, I did it unpartitioned. So I did the one mile run, 100 push ups or 100 pull ups. 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, and one mile run. And let me tell you, this was probably one of the most difficult uh, workouts that I have done this year as I've made this transition back into CrossFit. Now, this first mile um, was probably the most difficult. <laughs> well, actually, I take that back. It wasn't that bad. Um, I think one of the things I realized with this first mile is that um, um, one of the things I noticed with the first mile or the miles in general, I think, I don't think you should put as much of an emphasis on trying to be the first back into uh, the gym on the first mile, just because, um, it's the actual, uh, push up, pull up and air squat combo that I think really decides whether or not, um, you do well in this workout. Um, I got into the gym before a couple other people and they ended up beating me on this workout just because of the fact that they had um, partitioned the workout a little bit better. Um, I think the other individuals did it partitioned um, and I did it unpartitioned. So by the time I got to the pushups, my arms were pretty taxed. Um, and, and yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty much a shit show. Um, so, uh, as I finished up the first mile run, uh, kind of just coming in and just really just hopped into the first set of pull-ups, uh, right now, as far as BCAAs goes, which was in that cup, um, drinking the ghost BCAAs, the V2 amino acids. Uh, it's got some electrolytes in there, got your BCAAs, all the good stuff that you want. And it's vegan for all you vegan people out there. Um, I think the hardest thing, um, Going into this next workout was, uh, I weigh right now 200 pounds and I was uh, carrying uh, 22 pounds roughly. Um, the vest was a little bit uh, heavier uh, than I guess it should have been technically. Um, but yeah, so I was carrying around tw 22, 222 pounds, which I've never done that before on my frame. So trying to do pull-ups was a little difficult at first. Um, I did do... Um, sets of five at first, uh, which was manageable for quite some time. I, I wanted to butterfly them, but I just didn't have the energy to butterfly uh, these pull-ups, um, especially with all that weight I was carrying. It was quite a bit difficult. Another hard part with this section of the workout was that uh, the pull-up bar that I was using is essentially where people were leaving in and exiting the gym. But as far as my height goes, it's like the best height uh, to, I guess, bar to height ratio for me. So I like to really use it. And it also feels almost like a gymnastics bar. So you get a little bit of a bounce when you're doing things like kipping pull-ups and butterfly pull-ups. So this bar um, in our garage door, uh, roll-up garage door is like my favorite bar in the gym. Something else that I've noticed that uh, <laughs> is kind of interesting. Uh, it's been something I've noticed the last couple weeks with training. Um, I, I haven't actually explained to you guys what I've been doing lately, but um, right now I'm training in the mornings. I'm following Gaines Lab. 
their conditioning engine builder workout, which has been phenomenal. Uh, it's been really great. So I do that in the mornings. Um, it's usually about 20, 30 minutes of conditioning. Um, and then I go to work after work, I get off and, uh, I go train at CrossFit One World. Um, and that's kind of my, my workout for the day is CrossFit one world workout of the day. But, um, something I've noticed, uh, and you guys might see, uh, in some of these screenshots is a lot of people really don't, um, perform movements to standards. I understand that in a gym, we want to scale things, but it, it gets pretty frustrating when you see people that, uh, claim RX on movements or, uh, claim to do things really fast and um, they just aren't actually doing the full rep of reps the full rep or the rep to full standard for example not actually getting your bar your chin over the bar when you're doing pull-ups and things of that nature but um, it's getting less frustrating because now I'm just getting to the point where I just kind of expect people to not do full reps and I mean I cut reps here and there not purposefully but it's something I've noticed. I don't know. Have, is that something you guys have noticed at your gym where you've got a lot of people that are like uh, rep shavers? Towards the end of uh, <laughs> the pull-ups, it just got to the point where I could not sustain uh, five uh, reps at a time. I just got to the point where I would do like ones and twos, uh, which I was able to keep up for quite some time. I was surprised that I actually didn't get wrapped though. <laughs> In this workout, I really thought uh, midway through that I was going to, uh, just because of uh, yeah, just the amount of reps that were involved. Uh, I was definitely worried about that, but things seem to be doing fine. My body seems to be doing fine. So I was, so I was finally able to finish my uh, pull-ups, grab some more of those BCAs from Ghost. They're so delicious. The blueberry flavored, blueberry lemonade is I think is the flavor that I have. It's really really good. Um, but moved on from the pull-ups and went over to move my chalk laden body over to um, the push-ups. Um, this was probably the hardest section for me. Um, my upper body strength is just not, it's just never been something that's been really great. Um, it's been something that's always been lacking. Um, and so I was really surprised. Um, it took me a really long time, let's just say that. Um, I was really hoping to get this done. Uh, pretty fast um, being able to do like sets of two between two to five but it just got to the point where I was really not able to to, to push uh, and it, it all came down to just having weak biceps and, and weak um, chest so that's my goal for this year is to really work on building um, those muscle groups up And it, it got to the point where I was like sweating so much. This, like, this was, this was, the section was really, really hard. Um, I was sweating so much. Um, I was also, uh, with how tired I was and fatigued my biceps were, um, I ended up doing hand release pushups. Um, and I found that I was able to get a little bit of momentum. Um, uh, I guess pre momentum. I don't even know if that's a real word. Uh, and just kind of use that to get myself up off of the gram. Um, and that helped a lot. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I was strung out, sweating like crazy, like usual. Uh, yeah, this was, this was a doozy. And so when I got halfway through, I decided to, uh, give myself a little bit of a break and fill up my water bottle a little bit more. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think this definitely wasted some time, but I needed a little bit of a distraction from all the pain. As you can see, I was about 47 second, 47 minutes into the workout. So finally finished up the push-ups. Um, finishing up here, got a few more reps. And uh, just kind of moved on, went outside, took a little bit of a break again. Um, just to kind of get some fresh air because this workout was brutal. Um, went back in and just started on the, the squats. The squats were really uh, difficult for me because, again, I have tendonitis in both of my knees um, from weightlifting and CrossFit. So um, the repetitive usage isn't really 
um, helping <laughs> in this section of the um, workout. And so I just, this was a slow burn. Uh, I tried to push, push it as much as I could, but it was just, it was rough. Um, definitely got to a lot of points in the workout where um, I, uh, my legs were just shaking uh, from how like weak and how tired and fatigued they were. Um, also with your arms is really awkward because it's like, it gets to the point where you try to like find any sort of way to rest mid workout. And there's just, like, there's really no relief. Um, trying to hold onto your vest, uh, trying to, uh, yeah, there's just, there's, there's no relief. As you guys can see also, I moved around a lot in this workout. Um, this was the only real way I could try to find some relief was through changing scenery. Also changing my music a little bit. Um, also shoes today. Today I was wearing the, um, Adidas, uh, pure boost trainers. And I wore those because the boost I definitely did find helped a little bit on the run. I really wish I would have worn more of a running style shoe, um, just for comfort sake, just because these I've noticed as of, especially with today's workout, um, they were definitely a lot more uh, flat than I had expected. Um, the insole on the shoe is definitely very flat. So, um, I think if I was going to do Murph again ne next year, or I guess in Labor Day, um, I would probably pick a different shoe and more of like a running style shoe, like maybe like a Pegasus or something like that. Cause that'll definitely help a lot on the runs. And with that, uh, I just, yeah, just finished up the run uh finish up my squats and, and went back into the run the last run was just difficult um my quads were fried like i said my legs were quivering at how uh, fatigued they were um the bottoms of my feet uh, were also pretty uh sore and tender so this last run was just uh difficult to say the least um but uh, I think the one thing that definitely did help was having um, headphones. Uh, I was using my AirPods the entire time. And so just kind of having my own music definitely did help. Listen to a lot of R.L. Grime, a lot of, um, who else did I listen to? Uh, Ikali, uh, house mixes and stuff like that. So that helped with today's workout. but. This workout was brutal. Um, there's no real way around it. Um, you just got to put in the work. You just got to do it. Um, next year, if I was going to decide to do partitioned versus unpartitioned, I think I'm going to do partition unpartitioned again. Um, I think unpartitioned is definitely a lot harder. Uh, it pushes you a little bit more just because I feel like with uh, well unpartitioned, uh, if you do it partitioned, you'll definitely notice that you get a little bit of a break. In between each movement just because you'll do like five pull-ups 10 push-ups 15 air squats so you know when you're doing the air squats you give your arms a little bit of a break you know when you're doing your push-ups i guess you're kind of giving your quads a break and when you're doing the pull-ups you're giving your quads a break as well so in that instance i feel like it's a little bit easier to do it partitioned that's just my thought um, but I think it was definitely fun doing it unpartitioned and I think I'm definitely going to do it again. Um, hopefully with this next time that I do it, uh, I will definitely be a lot stronger and a lot more, um, fit, uh, condition wise to just be able to, uh, power through, um, a lot of this workout. Uh, and I think that's really what it comes down to is just, just gritting your teeth and just getting the work done. I mean, there's no way around it. So, um, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I know it's a little bit different, uh, being Memorial day. I thought I would share with you guys my experience with Murph. I had a lot of fun doing it <coughs> and, uh, I hope if you guys did not do it, I, I would encourage you guys to at least try it once. If you guys did do it, um, I, I want to know how you guys did let me know in the comments below what was your time for me 
I was able to do everything in about an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, I want to get that down to under uh, an hour and a half uh, the next time I do it. So I'm definitely going to continue to do the Gaines Lab uh, conditioning cycles because uh, I feel like that's been really, really helping me with my CrossFit and overall conditioning on top of the other strength and CrossFit work that I'm doing. So um, yeah, so guys, that is going to be it. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to hit that like button as well as the subscribe button because that lets me know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys want to see. And with that, guys, may your barbell be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.